مولايا صلي وسلم دائما دائما يا صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله محمد سيد الكونين Today we have exponent choice number one and the significant shit. Now I'll compare between these numbers 0, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 0, 6, 0, 0. And I will do the same number. And again the same number. And again the same number. Okay, now I'll put my decimal here, I'll put my decimal here, and I'll put my decimal here. Clear, right? Okay. Now we have rule. I mean, I want here to calculate how many significant digits I have in the number. Okay? By its shape. So here, as you see, we, I have zeros on the right, I have zeros on the left. I have zeros in the middle, okay? My problem is with the zeros, because the other numbers I can calculate as significant digits, but my problem with the zeros. So take this rule. All zeros on the left, always not significant digits, okay? On the left. Mean, this is not significant digits. This is not significant digits, because this is where? On the left of the number. It's not significant digits, so I am not taking into account. I mean, when I said, how many significant digits I have in the number, I should start here, from here, from this. I cancel, I neglect this, because this is not significant digits, okay? Now what about the zeros on the right? Actually, zeros on the middle is significant digits. Here, zeros on the, this is all significant digits, because this is between numbers. But zeros on the right, in your textbook of University Physics of Young and Friedman, he said zeros on the right is confused. I, can, I don't know if I count it as significant digits or count it as significant digits. Uh, two years ago, uh, I uh, studied some this significant digits in some British uh, book, and this is uh, Physics for Scientists and Engineers. And he discussed deeply the significant digits. And he put very nice method to calculate the zeros on the right. It's very simple uh, rule that if I have decimal in my number, decimal, I mean this point, this point, decimal on my, in my number, so zeros on the right is significant digit. Okay? Zero on the right is significant digit. Clear? So here, if I don't have decimal in my number, so zeros on the right is not significant digit. So actually, this number it has decimal, 
this number it has decimal, right? Yeah. And this number it has decimal. So these these are significant digits. But here I don't have any significant digits. So this is not significant digits. Clear? So zeros on the left always not significant digits, regardless if I have decimal or I don't have decimal. Mm -hmm. Zeros on the right, we have two cases. If I have decimal, so zeros on the right is significant. are significant digits. If I don't have, so zeros on the right is not or are not significant digits. Clear? Yes. This is how to calculate the numbers and these things. So I will write this. I will change it to what? You see, here, let's say here. How many significant digits I have? How many significant digits I have? How many significant digits I have here? Here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six significant digits. Right? Yes. It's clear. Here, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why I have 8? Because of decimal, because I calculate these zeros. And here also 8 significant digits. And here also 8 significant digits. See this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Actually, I am using the uh, scientific notation. This is multiplied by 10 to power just to, you know, rearrange my shape, okay? So here, if I said this is, if I said this is 1.2450600, zeros on the, here, because I have this point, so I cannot cancel this zero, zero, because this is significant digits, okay? This is what 10 to, to power what? I put this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is with 10 to power 7. Clear? It's the same number. How many digits I have? Sorry, this is, uh, we said this is not significant digits. So I, I have to cancel this. So I have to cancel this. Okay. So this is, yes, this is with 10 to power 7, sorry. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? I have the same number now, but with the shape of significant digits. Now this number, I will put this 1.24506. Here, I cannot neglect my zeros. Okay? Here, I put it 1 here. So this is with 10 to power 1. Clear? Here, let's say this is 1.24506000 with 10 to power. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Yes. Here, I put like this 1.24506000 with 10 to power what? Here, 1, 2, 3. To the right, so this is minus three. Minus three. Okay? So now I put the very nice shape. Actually, if I said how many significant digits I have here, how many significant digits I have here, it's give me the same result. It's eight significant digits. Okay? Because this is the same number. You can't write it like this, you can't write it like this. But I write it like this just to give a pretty shape of the number. But this give you directly how many significant digits you have. Okay? This is not wrong, it's right. Okay? But you can't write it in this shape. Same. Same. Okay? This is the thing. ADMSLC.com ADMSLC.com